Okay, so this is my quick review of the uh, new Matek uh, waterproof eSkate eSurf uh, remote. Um, so it comes in this, uh, this little case, um, and inside the case you get your your uh, wireless charging unit, um, your uh, floating lanyard, I guess, for the eSurf part of things, and the, the remote itself. Uh, and the remote itself is is uh, very similar to the Evolve R2 remote with the acceleration trigger and the uh, braking thumb trigger. Um, you also, there is the LCD display here and um, the waterproof function and on off button uh, for selecting options in the menus. Um, okay, so just a quick comparison. Uh, here is the actual uh, the Evolve R2 remote. You can see it's very similar. Um, obviously taking their design cue from the Evolve R2, which is not bad because this is what I learned to skate with. Um, yeah, so it feels feels very good. The trigger has got a lot of uh, travel, so um, that's good. And the brake as well, there's, there's quite a bit of resistance, so that's also very nice. Okay, just quickly, um, so what I'm using the remote in is my um, LaCroix custom DIY board. So this is a... Um, this is a uh, 11S 5P21700 cell custom board with the Unity uh, ESC and the Neptune 15 BMS. Um, yeah, it's a decent board uh, with the, the Matek 6374 uh, motors um, running the, the Tramper 6.5 inch wheels and the Superstar hubs. Anyway, onto the remote. So um, the receiver unit is actually placed uh, it's in here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to power up the board. And turn on the remote. OK, so on the remote we have the signal strength. Um, the T is the battery left in the remote itself. And the R is the is a display showing the um, the amount of voltage left in the board. Uh, so it's all nice. Um, I'm just going to move this away. So um, to access the menus, you hold the uh, it's hard doing it one-handed, but you hold the trigger down and then press the, the button, and then you get the menu screen up. So you press the button again to toggle through the menus. Um, like so, yeah, uh, for instance, and if you want to select something, you just hold down the uh, the button. So if I change the number of cells, I can just hold the button down, and then I can toggle through the values again by clicking through the button. So this is an 11S, so again I'll switch back to 11, and then to accept that you press the break and you're back again. Um, pairing is very simple, so if you want to pair, you just go to this, the pair option, power up the, um, the board, um, select this option, and it'll just it'll pair, so it's pretty quick. Um, but to be honest, I've only paired it once, and I've not had, it, had any need to uh, pair the thing again. Okay, to swap between um, eSkate and eSurf, um, you select the throttle mode. So again, just hold the button down, uh, and then you can toggle between the two. So uh, obviously I use it for eSkate, so I'll leave it as such. And there we go. And then I'll use the brake again to go back to the standard display. So, um, yeah, so it doesn't show the speed. It shows the percentage of, of uh, trigger that you're pulling or... Yeah, so if I start, obviously it's connected currently to the motors, so uh, if I pull this trigger just gently, you can see that it's, it's pretty decent, so just a gentle pull will kick it off and you get good control over the, uh, the application of how much power you want to place. Um, obviously it doesn't show doesn't show speed 
because there's nowhere to put uh, the size of your wheel, wheels and your motors and your gears and things for it to calculate that like the Evolve does. Um, but it's pretty decent, you know, I'm looking down seeing that I'm only applying X amount of percentage of power and um, if I want to look at the, at the speed I can open up the Unity app on the phone and check the speed as I go. Anyway, so um, yeah, I have to say it's, it's pretty good. Uh, you can see the, the response of it is pretty decent, the range is pretty decent, uh, the battery life, um, no issues on the remote with regards to battery life. You know, this board will do um, just shy of sort of 75k on a single charge and by the time I've done that the battery is probably down to half. So um, yeah, no issues with that. It's obviously a decent cell size inside. The only thing I, I would have wished they did perhaps is, is put maybe a, maybe a texturized um, plastic or rubber on the grip um, and maybe uh, like a, a USB option to charge the thing because currently it's, it's wireless only so um, yeah obviously if, if you want to charge it when you're out for the day uh, somewhere it's a bit of a pain because you have to carry a wireless char charger with you but um, all in all I have to say it is a really decent remote um, I actually think it's better than the Evolve R2. The, the trigger feels better. Uh, there's definitely more control. And I've had no dropout whatsoever, and I've had it for a good couple of weeks now. So, um, yeah, I recommend it. Although it is expensive, so uh, maybe a group buy is an option for you guys if, you, uh, if you're interested. Okay.